Hello unique people, this is Unique Makeovers DIYs. Welcome to my unique YouTube channel where you get to learn a few ideas and techniques on various things. On today's video, we're going to learn how you can start a uh, um, DIY channel and what you need for you to start a DIY channel and to be precise, a craft DIY channel. So guys, welcome and let's get to do this. For those who have not subscribed, can you subscribe? For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much for the support you've been giving me this far. I really do appreciate. Let's get to do this. So most and important, most important thing is um, definitely uh, when you want to start uh, a DIY channel, you have to be prepared. The preparation involves knowing that uh, when you're doing DIY, you're showcasing some of the things you do, not even some of the things. If it's pure a pure DIY, you're going to showcase things that you do, the activities that you undertake, or rather your passion. It might be your passion, what you like doing, it might be your hobbies, what you like doing on your free time, and you want to share it out with people. So basically, it's really important for you to be prepared as a person because um, doing DIY, uh, having a DIY channel is not easy because at times it involves money. Yes, it involves money because there are those things you might be forced to buy. Yes, there are things that you might be forced to buy. So it's not as easy as it may seem, but it also depends with which line you're going to take, which line of DIY are you, are you choosing to, to take. So let me, uh, I do, DIYs or the craft that is one of them and then I do hair makeovers yes then other random videos but uh, mainly it's uh, DIY craft and makeovers yeah that's why my channel is unique makeovers DIY so there are those particular things that I had to ensure I had before I started this because they were key they were crucial in relation to me creating content so some of these things they're not as uh, expensive as people might think and so uh, you should not be cheated that you have to really have to invest on these things uh, for you to to be able to start but they're basically very uh, cheap yes they're basically very cheap so let's get to, to do this i'm going to start showing, showcasing some of the things you might need yeah and so one of the most important item I need or tool I need for this is a glue gun yes this is a hot glue gun this hot glue gun you're able to get it in the market mine I bought it at Jumia I bought it at some 1200 Kenya shillings yes you need to connect it to electricity so basically that means when you're doing your DIYs and you're doing a DIY that involves using this glue gun, you have to be someone where you have electricity connection. So, uh, as I've told you, I bought mine at 1,200. Yes, I bought mine at 1,200 and it came with the 15 glue sticks. That 1,200 came with 15 glue sticks. This one I bought... Um, sometimes in 2019 yes in 2019 i think mid mid 2019 and uh, those who have been watching my uh, my content you have seen how often i get to use this and still i have these six pieces of glue still remaining and this half piece here so that means uh, depending on what you're doing your usage on the glue stick may not be that much but it also depends on what you the kind of content that you are you printing so basically your consumption may not be the same as my consumption but uh, this one important thing you need you can so the next thing you need when you're doing diy craft is a pair of scissors these ones are readily available in the market with uh, 100 bob you can be able to get yourself a good pair of scissors yeah personally i have so many of them so many so many of them in different sizes so these ones are smaller one 
but uh, this is also a very important stuff tool to have because it will involve cutting maybe you're doing a DIY on uh, uh, something that involves fabric you'll have to cut if you're doing a DIY on paper you still have to cut if you're doing a DIY using thread you still have to cut so a scissors is a must have a glue gun is not a must have because you can use other type of glues like um, all-purpose glue huh? Uh -huh. All purpose glue, you can use that instead of having to use the, the hot glue. But scissors is a must, is a must, is a must. So it's a very important tool that you need. So also, it depends on again what you're doing. You might need some pliers. Yeah, you might need some pliers. Now that I do jewelry, yes, I do jewelry. These are very important tools. So if you intend to do uh, DIY on making earrings, necklaces, such, these are very important tools that you need because this helps in coiling the wire if you're using wire, cutting, making loops and such. So these are very key, they're pliers. Uh, you can get them from the markets uh, and they go for 250 years. 250 you can get a piece you can get one which is multi-purpose like this one is a multi-purpose that means it has the coiling tip here this is the coiling tip and then it has the cutting part here that means it can help you with cutting if you're using a wire it can help you with cutting yeah let me show this other side yeah it can help you with cutting so basically uh, this also is multi-purpose this one is just for coiling purposes yeah you see it doesn't have the part of cutting so yeah all uh, that means so uh, depending on what you want to do or probably you also do those DIYs as form of business that means you sell the jewelries um, it could be important maybe to have different of these uh, there are many others actually yeah there's so many types of pliers but for me these three are sufficient for my work something else that you might need if you're doing a diy is thread and needle yes thread and needle this is key because there are those times you'll be doing something which you can't uh, join using the glue or rather you can't fix using the glue so you might need to sew so for you to be able to sew that you, that means you need um, thread and needle this is my thread, one of my threads, because I have several of them. Also, they come in different sizes. So, like now when I'm doing the seedbed, or um, seedbed earrings, uh, I use this because it's the smallest and seedbeds, seedbeds, seedbeds are very small, so basically I'll need uh, a thread that fits. So, also the kind of thread you buy depends on what you are going to specialize on the kind of beads you're using or this one if uh, i'm to do something like a bow tie and i'm going to sew this is sufficient because as well it's not it's strong enough yes it's strong enough it can't easily cut and again most of the needles that you use you'll be able to you know yeah, you'll be able to put into the needle hole so I have my needles here. I prefer storing them here because, yeah, I can easily be able to get them. So, something else you might need is, you might, I mean, you might, a ribbon. There are different things you can do with ribbons. Different DIYs you can do with ribbon. You only need to sit back, relax, and research what you can do with ribbons. So, if you have no idea of what content you want to do you can research and do what you can do you can make flowers using ribbon you can make mini hair bow ties using ribbons you can make decoration using the ribbon so basically the ribbons are, are key as well and an important aspect to have when doing diy something else that you might need is a fishing line mine has tangled but are still usable this is a fishing line a fishing line is a um, form of thread that uh, is elastic in nature and very 
farm. In other words, you can't. I can't even cut it using my hands. Yeah? I can't use it. I can only use a pair of scissors to be able to cut this. And so, uh, when you see people wearing bracelets on their hands, most of the time these bracelets are made from fishing line. Yes, and that's why you find them they're a little bit elastic. Uh, a small percentage of them they are elastic, but not so much because uh, this is what they they use uh, to to make the bracelets. Yeah, and not just the bracelets even necklaces you can use fishing line to make necklaces you can um, use it to fix something yeah even a decoration it can be like they are touching our throat at the back of our probably a decker yes because it's very strong and can't cut easily yeah now something else you'll need depending on uh, what you want to make as a stated of um, we are today we are measuring on craft work craft work you want to start a diy on craft you might need some beads you may need some beads oh these are my needles these are my other needles that i really use so i bought them in this pack it has uh, usually it has about 30 that yes it has 30 30 needles but i think i've lost some of them because what i have there but anyway i have very many threads so some will be the other thread because whatever is here is about eight so as i stated if you want to do a diy craft maybe in beadwork let me just be precise on beadwork you might need these rings the rings helped in joining you might need the earring hooks these hooks here yeah these are pack of hooks and they're very cheap yeah they're they're very cheap because this pack goes for 50 bucks and this can make as so many earrings this one so many of them so you have no excuse to say that it's expensive 50 bucks a pack of this a pack of this ring goes to between 30 to 50 might help you maybe join two necklaces or such so still it's not expensive if more so you're doing it for business and then there's these small things here called Giriama rings they are mini rings eh? actually they're dropping now yeah? i don't know whether you'll be able to see it yeah yeah there are many rings that you use when you are making hooks in a in a bead so that uh, let me give you an example like now these are necklaces i made so before i made this loop on this bead here i needed that small my ring the reason why it's so that uh, in case the the hole in between the bead is big the wire doesn't go through so the Griema ring is meant to protect that. So on to the other point that you may need more so if you're doing beading, you may need beads. Uh, beads are readily available in the market as well. And they all come in different uh, sizes, in different prices. Like now these ones are glass beads. Glass beads are a little bit expensive compared to the other. You might get, you might need amber beads yes such you might need pearls like whatever i'm wearing and this is what i love most my pearls yeah so different big these come in different in, in different um types you can if, if you want to use plastic you still can get plastic ceramic beads huh? they are all there so they are all types there are so many types of beads like these ones are glass beads so that means you also need the beads they are Small, small other things you might need like wires you have had me talk of a wire these are the wires they come in different sizes they are these which have been shaped already cut into smaller sizes but they are those ones you get them in two points and that's why you get to use so when if you're using the wire you need the pliers so that this is how they're connected so it's important to have all those and then something else which is important very very important are the storage containers yeah if you're doing craft 
Because you'll be using so many things, you'll be using the needle, you'll be using the, you'll be using the beads, you'll be using the hooks, you'll be using, yes, everything. You need storage containers. Like me, I have about 20 of them. These are plastic containers and you get them uh, cheaply in the market. Like now, the last ones I bought, I bought about 10 of them at 150. They are smaller, the smaller ones are these. 10 of them at 150. They are shops that sell them in town. So they help you in organizing your items your materials the materials you're using so containers are very 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 important containers make sure you buy yourself some containers and you'll be able to be storing your things well so something else that you really need is a phone yes all of us have phones yes working phones so you're not going out of your way to buy one. You already have a phone. So what are you still waiting for? Yes, what are you still waiting for? Start that channel. You start that channel. You only need to look like two for 2,000 shillings. Yeah, 2,000 sh shillings uh, for you to be able to buy the other little stuff that you need. When I did the maths for each and every one of these, uh, if you add the, the flares with 250 you have a flares with uh, 150 you have about 10 containers with 50 you have 50 bob you have the, the pins we have the with another 50 you have the hooks in another 50 you have the hooks with a thousand or less because nowadays they are a little bit cheap you can be able to get your glue gun if you want intend to use with a hundred bob you'll get a pair of scissors with 30 bob yes just 30 bob you'll get this fishing line with uh, this was 150 you'll be able to get this thread as in with 150 you'll get, be able to get ribbon basically it means with kenya shillings 200 2000 you can be able to start your uh, DIY craft channel. So another thing that is very important for you to have also if you're doing DIY is probably have a tripod. You can get a, a cheap tripod because you'll not be able to hold your phone with your hands when you're working because you're using both your hands to work on whatever you're working on. So it's important for you to have a tripod. Like now my phone is held by a tripod you do not have to invest much on a tripod like i did when i began this because already i was doing this uh, bead work or rather um diys before of course i i, I bought uh, mine at kenya shield 3000 it was a little bit expensive but the good thing is that it's able to hold the phone it's able to hold the camera so still it can be used for a longer period of time so but you can be able to get a tripod less than 500 bob yes you can be able to get a tripod a good one that can hold your phone well then another thing that you need which should be the last thing is the internet i know today you are still using the internet wherever you are you get probably to use over a, a hundred mbs on a daily basis so you just need to buy math or uh, a little more yeah for you to be able and it's not often it's when you want to upload your video yes when you want to upload your video so basically when you're able to get uh, the internet and anyway nowadays everywhere there's internet all over that means you can be able to get somewhere you're able to but for easier work and easy uploading without disturbance you just invest maybe a hundred bob and get your yes your mb is enough to upload um, the video and of course the last thing is yourself availability yes availability and you're good to go so basically um you do not need much for you to start uh, a diy channel a diy craft channel you only need to sit down reorganize yourself a little bit and you have got a lot to showcase yes you have got a lot to showcase and again, if you want the ideas, the internet is there, you can research on A, B, C, D and then maximize, make your content better than what is available or be able to come up with ideas on what you can do. So if you haven't started that channel, start today. You have got all the information you need. 
and there's nothing that is lacking so start today let's get to do this thank you so much and may god bless you